hell below. And I'm cursed. Once the captain of King the Oryx army, I left only to honor my land and my king. No man has a greater love for his king than I had for mine, even as I drove my blade through his dark and corrupted heart. Kill me! I don't... I don't want to change! Interesting mushrooms. This is Lazarus. Of that I am certain. He alone had the king's ear and whispered dark and evil magics into it, instilling the notion of an imminent attack by Westmarch. 
afraid to speak against the Archbishop. The counselors nodded their empty heads in agreement and sent us off to die. you no longer.
Oh, minions, stay back! Back! May this wedge hold. The skeleton king? The power of the fallen star awakened me, and soon all will suffer as I have suffered. Gods, bring me his bones! Thank you, but why did you risk yourself for me? I believe we can aid each other. Your niece told me you were here. Oh, it is wonderful to hear that Leah is well. I feared the worst. I learned of this secret passage through old maps I found. We must discuss the fallen star. Follow me to Tristram. I have found Lear's uncle, Deckard Cain. He was pursued by a creature called the Skeleton King, who blocks the path to the fallen star. You're alive! Thanks to you and your friend here. Friend? I am not often called that. But I wish to know more about the Fallen Star. The prophecy of the end days surely points to it as a sign that the end has begun. Please, Uncle, not more of your stories. All that matters now is that you're back. So this is how it ends? They dragged my cart from the road, but for what? I can't get it repaired. 
Might as well dig a hole and die in it. You would not be alone. Many have died before their time here. I have some new items that I'm certain you'll love. You've got to promise me you'll take good care of whatever I sell you. Leah spent all night alongside the blacksmith's wife, tending the wounded. What? She was out defending the gates this morning. What is driving that woman? Geldo, how sweet of you to ask. My people, the Vecin, are nomads. Always traveling, looking for the land we might settle. All of us have the sight, but few have it as strong as myself. You know, men have always pursued me for my visions. <laughs> well, for things other than my visions. But everyone wants to know what the future holds. My duty is my future. So serious. Just because you're fated to save the world doesn't mean you shouldn't have a good time. What troubles you? It's my wife. She's very ill. There is a balance in all things. Should her time come, death is nothing to fear. Sorry, the ferry to Wortham isn't running. Can't take anyone anywhere with all that's happening around here. It's not safe. Don't tell anyone, but I've got some new items you really should see. Sure, I may do business with some unsavory types, Pass the savings on to you. This gate is locked by order of the captain. I've dug up some new things for you to take a look at. I worked my hands to the bone to bring you these fine goods.
from the east shall come a monarch whose rule begins in blood and ends in bone. In the light of a comet will he die a third and final death. The Skeleton King was once our beloved lord, Leoric. He was driven mad by Diablo's evil. He lost both of his sons and his very soul before he was finally defeated. Now it seems he's risen to plague this land once again. I will find a way to lay him to rest. The key to defeating him lies in his old crown. Seek out our blacksmith, Hadrig. He knows of its whereabouts. Leia, you should not dismiss the signs so lightly. Do you not believe the evidence of your own eyes? Horrors have visited Tristram before, and it endured. But what of the texts? The Zakarum tomes warn of a falling star. The Herodric scroll spoke of the dead rising and the Lord of Lies. The prophecy of the end days says that at the end of all things, the first sign shall appear in the heavens. Yes, you've been telling me about the text since I was eight years old, Uncle. I just don't think we should read too much into them. I've spent most of my life traveling from place to place with Uncle Deckard, while he did his crazy research. It seems reasonable enough to me. He's convinced that the forces of hell will invade our world and bring about the end times. All these years, he's still searching for a way to stop this apocalypse. What did you learn of Adria? She wasn't from Tristram originally. She came here during the Troubles. She was in search of something, and I'm not sure what. She reminds me of Uncle Deckard, obsessed with the war between angels and demons. I am the last of the Herodrim. I couldn't always claim this. In fact, if I had turned to the Herodric teachings sooner, Diablo could have been stopped before his reign of terror began. That seems unlikely. When the first signs appeared, I did nothing. I had shrugged the old tales off like they were so much fantasy. And Tristram, no, the world has paid dearly for my arrogance. I have tried to make up for my failings. Leah and I have spent her lifetime scouring the world, collecting pieces of the prophecy of the end days. If I can decipher it, we will have the key to defeating the Lords of Hell. You and Leah depend on each other. I do not know what my life would have been like had I not raised her. Oh, it must have been difficult for Leah, following an old man on a mad search for the secrets to defeating the Lords of the Burning Hells. <laughs> but though she has seen her share of mysterious things, she is still unsure of my quest. I, I can understand. She has never seen anything like Diablo and his brothers. The prophecy of the end days is contained within the Herodric tomes I inherited from my ancestor, Jared Cain. It is a warning to those who could interpret it regarding Hell's ultimate invasion of our world. Written by many different people throughout history, in many different lands. All known versions of the prophecy are incomplete. I have spent a good part of the past 20 years trying to complete it. I am certain it holds the answers to defeating the Lords of Hell. What happened to Tristram's king? Leoric resisted Diablo's attempts to possess him, but the effort left him weak and confused. When his son Albrecht was kidnapped to be a vessel for Diablo, it destroyed any sanity Leoric had left. And so he became the Skeleton King. He commanded an army of the dead deep within the cathedral finally serving the Lord of Terror he had resisted while alive. 
Many adventurers tried and failed to slay the Skeleton King. It was left to Leoric's eldest son, Aiden, to finally kill the monster his father had become. You are the blacksmith, aren't you? I have a request. Not now. It's my wife. She's locked in the cellar like all those who've been bitten. I'm to put them all down. But how can I kill my own wife? Death is a path all must tread. Allow me to help. Thank you. Follow me. I'm sorry. Do not apologize. You will give them peace. Mira, my love, forgive me. I couldn't have done this without you. I'm in your debt. My name is Hedrig Eamon. There is a way you could repay me. I seek the crown of King Leoric. I can help you there. It's buried with his chancellor, my grandfather. You'll find his tomb in a cemetery in the Weeping Hollow. And if you see my fool apprentice out there, tell him to get back to town. I need ah, essence. An interesting opponent.
Toxins. you no longer. Consumes you. Another disruption in the balance. Corpse. 
I cannot do that. I must have a point to bring that down. That is not possible. I'm afraid not. That is not possible. I'm afraid I need not. a corpse. That is not possible. That is not possible. That is not possible. I cannot do that.
I'm afraid not. 